So I'm sure the question is going to come up, uh, would I recommend doing your own bottom job? Where I'm at now with this one, um, let me back up. Ask yourself a couple of questions first. Um, what does your boat need? At least what do you think it needs? Because what it needs is going to be a whole lot more. Uh, I'm sure when you bought it, it just had a bottom job. It's not in such bad shape. It doesn't have many blisters or any. It looked great. The survey came out great. Um, if it's got any kind of age on it, it's going to have problems. Plan on that. Uh, how much work do you want to do? Is it just scuff it up, throw some paint on it? Uh, it's going to be more than that. But, uh, can you do fiberglass work? Are you willing to do fiberglass work? Are you willing to deal with every little hole and blister and problem? How much money do you have? This one is going to cost me about $100 a foot if I don't have to spend any more. Uh, and I can't see that I will. Um, I've got one problem I don't know how to deal with around the cutlass bearing. Other than that, it's just time. Um, I've, I've ran into some epoxy issues where I was using some old epoxy and it cost me not only money, um, but it cost me a lot of time so far. Right now, I'd say it's probably going to cost me about a week just filling in um, not only these holes. This is new West System epoxy. I was using some very old Interlux um, pre hole, post hole, which this one still, I had issues with it. I had to grind the corner of it out where it just it didn't stick. Not sure you that or had air bubble in it or something. So, uh, do you mind doing the work? Do you think you mind doing the work? I've uh, been doing this now three weeks. I don't know, long time since the 11th. I've been up on the, the hard since the 11th, and uh, I tell you, it uh, it gets to you after a while. Uh, being stuck stuck on the hard when you want to be in the water and continuously finding more and more issues um, this would have cost me about two thousand dollars if I had let the marina here do it for what they do they it includes a haul out to, to put it on the stands to block it um, they scuff it up and they throw two coats of paint on it so I'm, I'm gonna be about twice that in it but going all the way down, I'm fixing every little problem. And boy, they just keep showing up. Um, putting barrier coat on there. I'm putting more and probably better paint than they would have put on there. Uh, with the, I don't know. Being an old boat, probably just doing too much as I normally do. I'm putting new instruments on here, put a great big battery charger inverter, redoing wiring and plumbing. and. And the boat probably isn't worth the amount of time and money I'm putting into it. Uh, just the way I, I tend to do things. I tend to overdo them. So, um, I guess whether or not it's worth it to do your own bottom job, I would say haul it out, get it on the hard, and evaluate it. Just, just if you want to go through, if you want to make a... a perfect bottom job on here. I mean, if you really want to, to get every little hole and every little nick and cranny and make it nice and smooth and do a really good job, it's going to cost you time and it's going to cost you money. Uh, yeah. You, know, you can pay somebody else to it if you have the money, but you know, I know I'm going to do a better job than, than the marina here would have. So I'm sure when it's all said and done, for me, it will have been worth it. But right now, um, spending three days going back and, and taking my mistakes out. Uh, my mistakes, uh, I say it was, it was old hardener, it was old epoxy that I had purchased at a, another marina, uh, not realizing that epoxy, and especially hardener, has a shelf life. So, um, you really have to sit back and, and say, is it worth it? Because if I had just thrown a quick bottom job on here, it would have still had the problems underneath and it would have been dealt with at some point. But I wouldn't be sitting up here. I would at least be out enjoying. I don't know. For me, I, I, 
I guess it's worth it for me to uh, to do this and to get it done. Um, would I do it again? At the, even at this point, I guess so. Uh, but it is it is absolutely frustrating and absolutely trying. First time, uh, they probably if I had to do this again, it wouldn't be so bad because I would have you know the experience with it. But first time learning and making the mistakes, it is extremely frustrating. So if your boat needs a bottom job, get it up on the hard, look at it. Uh, and to just, just realize it's going to be a lot of work if you decide to do it yourself. Uh, any questions, any advice I can give, um, there's, there's a lot of good channels out there. You know, like boat works today and such. Yeah, I don't think he's done bottom job and blister filling yet, but uh, these aren't really blisters. They're they're voids that Islander just kind of filled in with Bondo, and they ended up not. It's been 32 years, but they ended up not um, holding as well as if they had done them correctly. I've not really had any blisters, as far as what I would call a blister. But yeah, hope that hope that helps. Um, if not, it's an update for me where I'm at. Um, three weeks in and still filling in the holes. All right, see you guys.